Hey, are you frustrated by the limited number of homes that are on the market for you to purchase? Well, maybe you can think about new construction as a potential way for you to be able to find that home you're looking for. If you wait around for that right home to come on, for somebody to be able to sell from an existing home, you may be waiting a long time. With new construction, you can choose the home that you want, you can choose where you want it, and you can choose all the different things about it that are going to make it the home of your dream. So if you're frustrated in the home buying process right now about existing homes, maybe you want to watch this video and give you an idea of what's going on in the Philadelphia market regarding new construction and our market update. Stay tuned and we'll get right into the details. So one of the things that we want to talk about here is when we're looking at homes on the market, often when we will pull up listings, there's going to be listings that are on there that are new construction. That, that's homes that have not been built yet. They are maybe single, uh, single family homes uh, on individual lots. They may be part of a planned community that's being developed of single family homes. It could be townhouses or carriage homes or condominiums. So there's lots of different types of new construction. And here in the Philadelphia metro area, we have five counties, uh, the five surrounding counties around here. We have a variety of new construction options for you. So if you aren't pressed to have a home immediately, if you have a little bit of time to be able to plan on where your next home is going to be, we're going to give you a uh, breakdown of some of the counties around here and what that looks like for you is for new construction, what the opportunities are, what the potential cost could be, and maybe how to get started. So we know that the current values, the current inventory levels right now are very low. Uh, extraordinarily low, you've been hearing it all the time, and much of the reason for that is because we have not been able to build at a level to satisfy the growth of the population over the past 10, 20, 30 years. So when you cannot build to take care of population growth and you have a reluctance of sellers putting their existing homes on the market, you know, clearly we're going to have some constraints as far as inventory. The other thing that takes place as well is that not all areas of the country can build at the same, uh, let's say, pace or level. Uh, in the Northeast here, uh, it's very difficult to build homes, just like it is in California. Uh, between the inavailability of land, uh, the challenges that occur when you try to uh, develop that land, uh, either through local ordinances or zoning or costs, um, and it takes a long time in order to get a project off the ground. There are other parts of the country, uh, for example, in outside of Las Vegas or outside of Phoenix or we know in Texas and even in uh, areas of Florida where they have more available land. And so uh, the rules there are a little more favorable for them for new construction and it's easier for a builder to be able to get a project off the ground. Uh, they do have their own constraints but they are less so than what we have here in the Northeast. So when we start looking at some new construction we just don't build the same level and rate and they do in other parts of the country. But we can have some very nice areas around here of which to get new construction. So let's talk about um, well, what, what we can look for as far as uh, what you can get uh, in this part of the country uh, outside the Philadelphia metro area. We know as well that if you're looking at resale that uh, often you are going to have to do work on the home anyway. And so New construction is going to be more expensive than resale, but if you look at resale and the look at the money you're going to have to put into either cosmetic areas, you know, new carpets or flooring or paint, uh, or even something that may be more substantive like uh, a roof or an HVAC system, sometimes you'll find out that the costs uh, get to be comparable. As well as the fact that when new construction, you really don't have to worry about anything probably uh, that's going to need uh, repair until maybe the hot water heater goes in about 10 years. So you have a lot more, let's say, peace of mind uh, during the initial 10 to 15 years of your ownership than you would on a resale. So that's something to think about as well. In addition, with new construction, you get to choose what you want. So there's going to be a time frame of which you're not going to have the home or product available to you immediately, 
but when you do have it, it's going to have everything that you're looking for because you were the one you were the one that chose that, designed it, and it truly is a home that is going to fit your needs. So let's take a look at the market stats and uh, new construction in the Philadelphia metro area. We'll give you a breakdown by county, uh, whether or not we're talking detached single family home or attached like a townhouse or a carriage home, what the kind of price ranges are for them, at least the average prices, and what the uh, percentage is its availability based upon the total number of listings. We'll give you some examples of what you can uh, get, um, and then we'll tell you as well how you really need to proceed uh, for new construction. In Delaware County, which is adjacent to uh, Philadelphia uh, Center City, 15% um, of the total listings are new construction. Of those 15%, 65% are detached uh, single-family homes with an average price of somewhere around $1.3 million. Uh, an example here you can see is uh, Garnet Point. This is a new development that's uh, beginning construction in mid-2023. Beautiful looking homes. You have a variety of homes to get from anywhere between 2,800 square feet all the way up to maybe 6,000 square feet. Great looking product. Uh, it's going to be about 16 homes. If you're looking for some place that's in Delaware County that has good accessibility to both Philadelphia, the city, as well as Wilmington down in Delaware, uh, we find that that area is a great area for people who are work, have to work in either one of those locations. 35% um, of the new construction availability are going to be in townhomes or carriage homes. The average price for those is about $820,000. Uh, an example of that would be the towns at uh, Newtown Walk. So there's a whole area around Newtown Square uh, called the Ellis Preserve. There's a lot of different types of new construction around uh, in that area. It's got accessibility to a lot of different shopping as well as good community or, uh, transportation uh, to uh, other parts of the Philadelphia metro area. So here's an example of what you can get in Delaware County as far as a um, townhome or carriage home. Now looking over at Chester County, uh, Chester County has more land, uh, has a lot of land that's really um, preserved. 28% uh, of Chester County has been designated as um, preserved or uh, not to be built. Um, but there is still land that's being built upon. So in Chester County, 49% uh, of the total listings that are on the market right now are new construction. So as you can see, we don't have a whole lot of resales out there, uh, but we have a lot of new construction. Of those uh, new listings and new construction, 69% of those are detached with an average price somewhere around $981,000. One of those examples here is uh, Greystone by NV Homes. Um, nice single family homes, a lot of different variety, uh, variety among those. It's a great location, it's just outside of Westchester. 31% of the townhomes, or 31% of the new construction, are townhomes uh, or carriage homes with an average price of $720,000. An example of that would be Willistown Point. You can take a look at that here. Nice, another nice area in Chester County um, in which um, there is new construction available. Moving on to Montgomery County, which is on the northern border of Philadelphia, 35% of the total listings uh, on the market are new construction. Of those, 63% are detached with an average price of somewhere about $1.1 million. Here's an example here, uh, Bexley, um, which is by WB Homes. We actually have a client who's building a home in this development. Very nice homes, very nice quality, um, and the builder is very flexible on all the different types of uh, you know options and, and different things you can want. Uh, we're very impressed with, with how this is going to look, and my clients are excited about uh, that project. 37% of the new construction listings are townhomes or carriage homes, with an average price of about $645,000. Example of that would be uh, Wheatley the Walk, uh, another one by WB Homes. Um, great little area uh, that uh, is being built up, and, and I'll give you some example of what you can get in Montgomery County in a townhouse or carriage home. In Philadelphia County, which is where the center city, Philadelphia, is proper, very little new construction compared to the total, new, uh, total number of listings on the market. So only 10% of the total listings are new construction. Very, very few of those homes are going to be single-family homes, detached. Only 3% of the total new construction is uh, detached homes with an average price of about $1.3 million. You'll find very few uh, neighborhood developments or, or developments being done as a project of multiple homes. Most of those are going to be individual single homes on individual lots that were 
uh, found you know at some location around the city proper. Uh, I don't have any uh, developments or neighborhoods for that uh, example because they are pretty much more one-off custom homes. 97% of the new construction uh, in Philadelphia areas, townhomes, carriage homes, condominiums. Average price of about $1 million. Uh, we have an example here from Toll Brothers called North Bank. <clears throat> you can see these uh, townhomes in the building here. Um, it's uh, along the Schuylkill River. Uh, very nice uh, development they're putting in place here. So this gives you an idea of what you can get in the uh, city limits of Philadelphia for new construction. Looking over uh, into Delaware, because Delaware is adjacent right to uh, where we are, and there's a lot of uh, people who live in uh, Delaware uh, that work in either Philadelphia or Wilmington, uh, or even south of uh, Wilmington into Dover. So Newcastle County is the county that's adjacent to Pennsylvania. So of the total listings that are on the market, 36% of those are new construction. Uh, of those 36%, 72% are detached, with an average price of about $685,000. Uh, here's an example here, um, Village of Bayberry. They're actually building a village down uh, in Middletown, Delaware, south of Wilmington. Uh, building a village, um, it's a, something that's been a project that's been in the last 20 years. They set aside this land, they're building homes and shops and walkability. Uh, so if that's a part of uh, this area that you're interested in, here's one is an example of the development uh, that you know, maybe something would be of interest to you. Uh, of that uh, new construction, 28% are townhomes and carriage homes with an average price of about $550,000. Uh, example here now is the town of Whitehall, which is another uh, development that's building a city around um, this whole community. So uh, a lot of Delaware is built about building communities. So they, they have homes, single family homes, townhomes, community centers. Um, so some, if that's a part of the country that uh, you have interest in, uh, this is something you may want to investigate. So if you're going to go new construction, you, know, you have to get an idea that it's going to take some time. It's going to take maybe seven, eight, uh, up to maybe 12 months uh, for you to build a home. It depends on where they are in the process, whether or not it's a project that is just starting. The development phase or whether or not they've got multiple phases and they're already building homes in there and they've got everything all ramped up and the infrastructure is in place and they're able to build homes quickly but it should take you know it's going to take you between six and twelve months uh, to build a home that you like um, so you want to understand that and understand how that works into your timeline about where you want to be uh, there's also a process involved in new construction uh, it's very important for you to have representation and you have to understand when you go to a new construction site, if you do not go with your agent um, on the initial visit or maybe even subsequent visits, uh, you may not be able to use your agent to represent you. That the builder or the developer or, or who uh, the, the uh, brokerage that may be maintaining that site um, may have you register and then you will then become a client of theirs and they will be the one representing you, but they're also gonna be representing the builder as well. So you want to make sure that your rights are protected. So before you go to any kind of new construction, you want to get with your realtor, let them know what you're thinking about. Don't just start driving around and going to the model homes and, and like a butterfly, go from butterfly, uh, model home to model home to model home. Uh, that isn't going to be to your best interest. Let your realtor understand what you're trying to do about new construction, give you an idea of what some of the projects are around there and help you get better prepared so you can start exploring new construction as a potential for you to get that new home that you're looking for. If you have any other questions, you know, please um, do not hesitate to throw us a comment down at the bottom, bottom of this video. Um, give us a like, give us a subscribe, uh, hit the bell up there so you get notified when we have content out there. We're always looking to be able to help you with your real estate needs. So once again, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for uh, upcoming videos.